first division of one of the Hayes Memorial races here in memory of the family that established the DuCoin State Fairgrounds about 50 years ago. Now they're at the post. The gate is moving. Field of six, and here they come. They're often trotting between Phillies quickly for the lead. Divine Child outside her, rushing. There goes No Pan, No Gain. No Pan, No Gain, and Campbell scoot across the racetrack. But on the inside of them, Luscious Lisa away well. Now she battles for the lead, but on the outside with it is No Pan, No Gain. And the Mr. Vic Philly will take charge as they drive toward the quarter on the inside. Luscious Lisa picks up cover second. Divine Child settled third on the inside. Around the turn, trotting four is appeal to reason. As they trot toward the uh, quarter mile mark, racing fifth. As they reach that juncture is Pine Spun. Pine Chime can see them all. They trot past the quarter, 29-2. They straighten now down the back stretch. And leading the way, no pan, no gain from the first crop by Mr. Vic on top, length and three quarters. Behind her, Luscious Lisa trots second along the rail. Divine Child is third. No move behind them. Still fourth, appeal to reason. Trotting five is Pine Spun, Pine Chime at the back. They're rolling toward the half, all in contention, being led by no pan, no gain. The Peter Pan stables Philly by a length and a half. A closer second now, Luscious Lisa, as they ease past the half-mile mark, trotting toward the upper turn, the half a minute, two-fifths. So off a relaxed half, they're into the turn, and third on the inside, Divine Child off the rail now. Wanting action, here comes Appeal to Reason and LaChance, racing behind her, fifth on the inside, driving toward three-quarters, Pine Spun, Pine Chime at the back. The leader by a length and a half, no pan, no gain, and John Campbell, he controls the tempo as they trot toward three quarters. Behind him, racing second, Luscious Lisa. Third is Divine Child on a break on the outside, appeal to reason, dropping back. Moving up now fourth as they race past the three quarters, Pine Spun, Pine Chime is five. They pass the three quarter in 130 and three. No pan, no gain, who's won half her starts, has it her way as they trot in the lane toward the wire. No pan, no gain, Campbell by just a length and a half. Here comes Luscious Lisa racing on the outside and McGee has that filly on fire on the outside. Luscious Lisa trots to the lead on the inside. No pan, no gain to the wire. Luscious Lisa, Dave McGee win it by a length and three quarters. No pan, no gain was two under the wire. Three pine spun, four pine chime, five divine child and the trailer appeal to reason. Trotting mile and 159.3 for Trotting Phillies, owned by the Alistair Stables, Inc. of Morganville, New Jersey. Trained by Bob Stewart, who's about to greet his winning filly. With Dave McGee at the lines, Luscious Lisa. Winning filly by Mr. Vic, giving that young sire from his first crop another stakes winner. In fact, the Mr. Vic Phillies finished 1-2 in this one. Luscious Lisa, who prevailed, is now into victory lane. Jim Sproul, the marketing director of Castle and Farm, who sponsors the Hayes Memorial races here, now is moving into victory lane to make presentation of the race trophy to the Alistair, Alistair Stables, Inc. of New Jersey. So, Jim Sproul presenting in the absence of the owners to trainer Bob Stewart. We'd like to mention the Castle and Farm of Lexington 